Hi, my name is Femi Ajayi. I'm a business information system and a contact center operations analyst. In this video, I'm going to be sharing about capacity planning for a contact center operations. In other words, how to determine the number of employees you need to employ for your contact center operations. Uh, if you're running um, if nine hours operation a day, five days a week, then it's going to be a different calculation entirely. But this calculation will be suited for operations running more than nine hours a day and maybe more than five days a week. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, the kind of operation that this calculation will be most useful for. Now, um, the normal working hours for agents will be uh, eight hours. Translate that into a minute. That will be four hundred and eighty minutes. Um, it is sample data for the average call offered. Uh, that is the average number of calls that a contact center is receiving on a daily basis. Let's put that to be 1,560 calls on a daily basis. The next thing you want to set is your occupancy level. Occupancy is how busy you want your agent to be uh, within a given period, for example, one hour or in a day. So, uh, industry standard is often between that 80 to 90, but in this case, let's put it at, eight, at as 85. Um, uh, the next thing is AHT, which is the average handling time. Um, that is the talk time, hold time, and after call work. Setting an example here to be 9 minutes 30 seconds. Translate that into seconds, that will be 558 seconds. Now that we know the uh, normal working hours for each agent, which is uh, 480 minutes, divide that by the AHT. That will give you 52 calls per agent a day. Now we know that it's impossible for an agent to be taking call after call, so we want to set that is why we set the occupancy level. Now 85% of 52 that will give you 44 calls per agent a day. That is at the full operational performance. Some and we do know that within a day there are often some variations and some exceptions, things that happen, some factors that make it impossible for agent to take the maximum number of calls a day in a day. So. Uh, for example, yeah, you might have to do some coaching, some training, running some extra campaign and some extra training. So you need to bring these into your equation. So that is when you need to set a minimum number of calls that you want each agent to be taking. So in this example, let's say we're using 70. So 70% 70 of 44 calls will be 30 calls around that, or 31. So let's say uh, we now divide the 30 calls, now that we are able to establish that we want each agent to be taking a minimum of 30 calls, we divide that by the average call that the contact center is offering on a daily basis. So we now see that we need 52 agents on a daily basis by dividing uh, 1,560 calls by 30 calls per agent. That gives us 52 agents to be employed. Now, because we are running seven days operation or 24 hours, seven days a week operation, uh, you would not just be employing 52, p 52 agents. So what you need to do here is, and more so, you know that you cannot count on 52 agents to be turning out for work on a daily basis. Some will be on MC, some will be on annual leave, some will be on emergency leave, or paternity and maternity leave will come into play. So you want to bring that under your shrinkage. Some um, operation will put it as 15, some will put it 25, some will put it 30, but as a sample data we put it as 10. So 10% shrinkage of 52 that will give you 5.2, so add that to 52 that gives you 57 agents uh, to be scheduled on a daily basis. Now how do you now know the head count or the total number of agents you need to employ to be able to schedule 57 agents on a daily basis for a period of 7 days? Uh, so this is how to do it. Now, your agent will be working five days a week. So, 57 agents times seven days a week divided by five days that each agent is going to be working, that will be 80% agents that you need to employ for your contact center operation running seven days a week or even more than uh, nine hours operations. So, now in summary, we now know that the total ad count that we need to employ for a contact center should be 80. Expected number of employees that will be scheduled on a daily basis to handle the 1,560 calls will be 57. Take out the 10% shrinkage that will give you 52, um, 52 agents on a daily basis to be, to be scheduled. Now, the question that people would actually ask in this case is why is the service level not included in this operation, in this calculation? 
service level is a function of operations management on a daily basis if you have your agent not attending or not returning from breaks or doing a lot of callbacks not uh, following the adherence on a daily basis or uh, they are spending more time on ACW than they should uh, and you're not managing it effectively then that is would affect your service level but in my next calculation in my next presentation I'm going to inject service level into my equation with the uh, occupancy and also break down the Elang's calculate uh, calculation and um, expose everything how it works um, and you just watch out for that video um, now what I'm about to mention here um, is just more of like uh, it's out of what I've discussed about the capacity planning if you're a business manager or you have a business and you have a contact center and you're falling short of your operations management your customers are unhappy your NPS feedback is really low um, uh, your agents are unhappy you're having high attrition rates then you need an experienced contact center operations manager um, if you are experiencing this problem you can give me a call my contact center my contact will be in the description give me a call let me discuss uh, let's have a chat about it and if I don't produce or if I don't deliver within um, two weeks or one month into my um, management style or you do not like my management style I'm going to tender my resignation you have a good day guys bye now